What's up guys, this is Deepak Oma and welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, you're most, most welcome. As always, audio. Audio plays a big role along with video and if you do voiceovers, then it's important to provide as better quality as you can. Because I noticed people record their audio and simply upload it onto YouTube without processing. And that's not good because there could be background noise or probably the overall quality of the audio isn't good enough. So today we're going to talk about how you can improve the quality of the voiceover or the vocals that you recorded. You can use any voice recorder, you can use your phone, you can use your laptop, you can use your any any specific mic, whatever you want to use it. I'm not going to tell you which mic to go for because this video is not for that, but I would still recommend going for a good microphone because that will make a difference for sure. You don't need to break your bank, just go for whatever mic suits your pocket. Currently I'm using Fifine, it's a pretty good condenser microphone and it's cheap as well. I'll put the link of this mic in the description below, so just check it out. Although I want to mention that this video is not sponsored by Fifine. I'm just recommending this because I'm using it and it's good. So just check it out. So today I'm going to show you how you can leverage a free tool or application or software, whatever you want to call it, to enhance the sound quality. Here we are going to use Audacity. It's a free tool. You can simply search it online or I'll put the link of this tool in the description as well. It's super easy to use. Just a few clicks and boom, done. It will surely bring the quality of your audio from here to here. So now I'm going to show you what options do I choose to process my audio all the time. So watch it till the end. Now let's do it. First you need to download Audacity from this website and then install it, obviously. And now here in Audacity you can simply record your audio using this button. Well for the sake of this tutorial, let me use the audio that I recorded for this tutorial. So let's bring it here. Go to file open and select the file. Now this is the original one. Let's play it. Hi guys, this is Deepak Parma and you're welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, you're most most welcome. So this is how it sounds now. Okay. But once we'll be done with the editing, it will sound like this. Hi guys, this is Deepak Parma and you're welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, you're most most welcome. Didn't it significantly improve the audio quality, right? So now let's edit our original clip. In order to compare the differences, let me make a copy of this clip. Now, as we have two copies, select this solo here so that it will disable the top one. Now, step one. First, we need to remove the noise from the clip. Here is a tip. Whenever you record, wait for a few seconds to start talking so that background noise gets recorded in the clip. So what you need to do is select some of the blank portion, then go to effects, click noise reduction. And now we need to hit get noise profile. By clicking it, you are basically telling to Audacity that analyze the noise in the selected portion. Now we need to select this whole track either by just clicking here or press control A or command A. And now go to effects again and hit noise reduction. But this time we simply click OK because last time we take the noise profile and this time we are applying it. So the first effect is done and now let's come to the second one. So go to the effects and hit compressor. You can go with the settings that I'm using here and select OK. To apply the third effect, go to effects again and this time hit filter curve. Now manage factory presets and click bass boost. Now again, go to effect, filter curve, manage factory presets. And this time we will go with treble boost. But let me tell you this. I don't use treble boost with my voice because it doesn't go very well. So just check if it is working good for you. If not, then just don't use it. And finally, the last step is to apply the normalize effect. So go to effect and hit normalize and simply click OK. That's it. You're all set. Didn't take just two, three minutes. And I can bet this small effort will make your audio much better. Now let's hear both of them before and after and see the difference. So this is the original one. Let's hear it. Hi guys, this is Deepak Parma and you're welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, you're most, most welcome. And now listen to the processed version. 
Hi guys, this is Deepak Parma and you're welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, you're most most welcome. So, what do you say? Isn't it much better than the original one? It is. Just give it a try. It's an amazing tool. I'm using it for a long, long time and Audacity never disappointed me. And on top of that, it's a free tool. You don't need to pay anything from your pocket. That's it. Just give it a try. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something useful today. And if you did, give a big thumbs up. And also, let us know which microphone do you use for your voiceover by writing in the comment section. And also, make sure to subscribe because that will make a big difference to our channel. And for now, goodbye. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.